Hey guys, welcome to Snowbreak Containment Zone, and we are here to do a you know a build guide, a comprehensive build guide on Life Infinite Site. So just to give you guys an overview for those who haven't watched my video, if she is worth it, I you know it's it's best that you take a look at that first, so that you could more or less have a you know a idea on if you're gonna be pulling for her or not, if you haven't decided yet. But if you have decided on pulling for her, already you got her. So this is the right or the best video for you. First, let us get out of the way what type of character she is. She is basically, um, she could do up close, she could do mid range, she has SMGs. Um, her kit is uh, revolves around a series of, um, you know, a series of uh, skills that you should do in sequence so basically her skill cycle is going to be you know you'll have a standard skill cycle for her for you to use effectively but again if you do pull it off you will have tremendous burst damage we'll do a, a, a demo on how she's being used later but Again, that is how she's going to be used. You'll, you'll have to do a series of um, moves to be able to have the utmost or the most damage that you can deal. She is a... She, she does a lot of burst damage, guys. Tremendous burst damage with, uh, with her... Um, uh, what do you call this? With her dodge shot, I was always I was going to say demo shot. Her dodge shot is actually tremendous. <clears throat> that is her bread and butter. We'll go to that later. Each and every step of the way. So without uh, you know all the hoopla, let's proceed first to her skills. We could uh, take a look more on how she deals her damage, how her kit um, evolves more. <clears throat> Preferably, guys, you focus more on her standard skill. It is meant to do a lot of uh, damage here. <clears throat> Going back. So life dashes quickly, dealing up to five uh, instances of kinetic damage to nearby target and marking them with instant sight. So instant sight is like, um, again, it's a mark that you put on a target. Then it, it acts as a buff to the damage that you deal to the target, especially for your dodge shot. So targets with the multiple parts, like say, for example, you have uh, mechs that have multiple parts um, that are marked with an additional one instant sight mark per part, up to three marks per target. Instant sight each time life dodge shot. This one dodge shot, I'd like to explain this. I was kind of confused at first what this is. So once this is active, when you can use your dodge shot, um once you click on the bottom for dodge she automatically shoots so this is available when you have a dodge shot charge okay shots hit a target with this mark this only fires an instant ray uh, insight ray at each mark on the target dealing kinetic damage when a target has at least one mark decreases the final damage of the additional insight raise to 30%. So a passive for this standard skill is, is life moves and dodges faster. Each shot hit on target gives her three dodge shot charge. Take note of that. Plus an extra one dodge shot charge if the target has an instant insight mark. Life can dodge uh, to consume dodge shot charge and perform a dodge shot during in which her anti-interruption ability increases and her final damage taken decreased by 50%. So she has um, she has defensive you know capabilities, um, damage reduction with this skill as well, anti-interruption. But she is not invulnerable. So take note of that. You will also always take damage, but damage will be um, as minimal based on this skill. For each one percent of crit rate, dodge shot ballistic damage increases by one. For each 1% of crit rate of fire, dodge shot, ballistic damage increases by 1%. Okay, so again, a little bit of crit rate could help her kit as well. So her, her, this skill, take note guys, it scales up with attack stat, as you can see. So that would be crucial when we discuss our logistics. So important thing is, in terms of your neuronics later, we're going to go to that. But I'm going to tell you ahead of time. 
Number one would be your standard skill. The secondary would be your ultimate. And the last to work on is going to be your support skill. She will definitely be your main DPS. Um, you, you, she's, I don't think you'll be using her as support. So neural skills, these are two priorities. When equipped with a kinetic weapon, gains a three-shot damage, uh, three-shot charge, even when a shot ricochets. This is very important because this is going to help you um, cycle, you know, connect the cycle in terms of your skills because this, the cycle for skills will be um, standard skill, then you have dodge shot, then regular ballistic damage, then you have dodge shot. Up until you generate enough and you, you know, you lower down the cooldown of your ultimate, then you use her ultimate. So after using her standard skill, life immediately gains full dodge shot charge. So this one is very important because without this, um, you won't be playing her as, um, you know, as optimized as possible. So going towards her support skill. So this is also for damage. Again, this is just kind of you know an add-on for her you want you you wouldn't want to use this as often unless you really want her to be a support so life fires revelation ray in front of her dealing kinetic damage to hit targets revelation ray damage 620 percent then these are her neural skills again which again is going to be the last part of your neuro neuronics okay when revelation hits a target it flicks stun for two seconds if Revelation Ray hits one enemy, increases final damage dealt by 20%. So, not a big deal for her kit. And uh, uh, finally, for her skills of the three, we have her ultimate skill, Divar uh, Divinity. So, life, I, I would rather you do it as a stay in. I don't think you'd like to swap her out. So, stay in, not switch out. Uh, life enters uh, ultimate awareness. For 10 seconds, this is going to be a long. This is one of the longest ultimates that I've ever used. Dealing one instance of kinetic damage each 02 seconds to the nearest 10 targets within range. In this state, her anti interruption ability increased and her final damage taken decreased by 50. Again, she has damage reduction, but she can only move while in this state. So you can't do anything when in this state. You can't even, you know, dodge, whatever. You can just move her around and move her closer to enemies when you are in her ultimate when a target is more than 10 meters away from life the damage dealt by her ultimate skill gradually decreases as the distance increases to a minimum of 50 percent so the further away the less damage the the nearer you are the more damage using the ultimate skill again will end um ultimate awareness state early devour divinity cooldown begins after the state ends Okay, passive for this one is when using ultimate skill within 10 seconds after marking a target with instant insight mark decreases you energy you energy consumed for by 10 for each mark target up to a max decrease of 60. The passive effect calculation resets each time life uses sta a standard skill. So again, this is going to work in tandem with your standard skill both of them will complement each other that is why once you do your cycle your goal is eventually to make sure you use your ultimate as much as possible as well so for your neural skills devour or de de deals 50 more damage to targets with at least one instant um instant insight mark for each additional mark this damage increases by five percent after each dodge shot decreases devour divinity cooldown by one second this is what i mean every time you charge for your dodge shot and you use it the cooldown of this ultimate also goes down so again she, she her kit it takes a little bit you know more of getting used to but when you're used to it it's gonna deal pretty much a lot of damage so going to her there was alignment midnight hunt for when dodge shot charges reach 60 life next dodge will consume all dodge shot and have the effects uh, following them decrease time and the cost of dodge by 50 percent it consumes 10 bullets to perform the dodge shot dealing 10 instances of 136 percent uh, ballistic damage that have a hundred percent chance to deal crit for each alignment index again um increase the final damage of each dodge shot by 10 percent if ammo is insufficient decreases final damage of the dodge shot 
by 50. So with that said, also prioritize her alignment index once you reach her logistics. So that is it for her skills. So a lot to, I don't know, a lot to digest based on her skills, but we'll go to the demo. It's simpler to explain that way and see how much damage she can do. Next up would be her weapon. So again, we have two choices for a weapon. You have your four star and then you have your orange tier five star. Right now, I have the orange tier five star, but I do have two copies already. So it's maxed out. So I can't compare my existing setup with the um you know the the in terms of apples to apples in terms of one copy to one copy so we will be taking a look at the four star weapon first it's actually in the shop i don't have uh, i don't have it i didn't buy it i went directly to um the five star weapon and summoned it so was really lucky enough to get two copies and um this one is going to give you a boost for attack, which is 626% for the base copy. Take note of that. Uh, anyway, this is easier to farm and easier to, to rank up or tier up because you can just farm this in the shop. Again, really depends on your appetite in summoning for um, the orange tier weapon or the five star weapon. We will go into more or less what is the impact if you're going to use the four star and you're going to use the five star so let's do a comparison this one has two 15 buffs so this one is cyrus skill damage increases and ballistic damage increased by 15 so you have both so total potential damage buff would be at around 30 percent those are the only two figures that you have to take a look at Basically, when you get copies, this also increases. So 15 plus 15 is going to give you a 30% damage potential increase. So if you go back and we check out the stat for your base, base one copy of the orange tier weapon, which is, I think, very, very nice. It's a SMG, but uh, kind of looks like a pistol. Not a, a full automatic pistol but anyway let's uh, check this out so the base one if you only have one copy you do get an attack boost of 10.2 again it scales up so this is considering uh this is the base one with uh, again the level is low but in terms of the buffs that you get let's um there's a 14.4 percent ballistic damage and 14.4 percent skill damage so if you take those into consideration guys that is a total of 28.8 percent it's lower than the four you know four star version but you have a fixed increase at um 18 kinetic damage so roughly um how much is that so that is 28.4 plus um 18 so that's roughly a 46 percent 46.8 percent potential damage that this gun deals versus 30 percent from the other you know four star basically what i'm saying is the damage difference is generally about between minimum of 30 percent to 33 percent could even go up so moving back to our operative our life operative i do have again the um weapon so if you have two copies the attack boost is at 51 percent tier two i have it already increased kinetic damage to 30 so again uh 30 24 and 24. so that is a total damage boost of um let's me let me do the math 48 plus 30 that's 70 percent potential damage buff okay kinetic ballistic damage and skill damage or yeah skill damage for um 24 24 and 30. so again that is ridiculous um i'm not sure in terms of um, if you get five you know five copies of the four star weapon if you know what's the total damage potential but based on the ratio just with just one copy again this gun is going to stand out 
the difference is going to be 30% to 33% damage output. So that is it, guys, for the gun. And uh, based on my previous advice um, on guns, it usually depends on, uh, number one, uh, are you willing to pull? Are you limited on budget? Do you have extra, what they call this, extra currency to pull for the gun? It really is up to you. If you think that the extra, you know, the five-star weapon would be, you know, would raise her up into a bigger damage potential. Well, I think yes, but <laughs> there are a lot of factors into pulling for the gun. Uh, so, uh, currency and, of course, your own wallet. So, again, guys, feel free to more decide whether you want to go with uh, this gun or the four-star gun. At least you know the difference in terms of damage off to her logistics so logistics um again uh nova squad is actually the best this is really tailored fit for her this as you can see here uh it really states that this you know this effect of this logistic is going to only take effect with her you can't use this logistic with anybody else if you want to do without nova squad which i highly um i highly um you know i highly advise that you use dova squad i don't recommend that you don't use it but if you do not want to use nova squad i think the other you know uh instances that you can use others other logistic is either theme squad or twilight they are tailored fit for 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 skill damage not so much for dodge shot so this one is for dodge shot so this technically is the best for her but if you want to do skill damage definitely you'll have to go with thieves or twilight so again nova squad is the way to go if you know for some reason you have other preferences theme squad and twilight squad is actually going to be i think uh, options for you unless you know <laughs> unless you're really stubborn but again nova squad is it because this one increases kinetic damage by 24 percent also increases life uh sites dodge shot damage instant raid uh insight raid damage and devour div devourer of divinity damage by per instance by 75 percent so basically what i'm saying is uh you're gonna be <laughs> you're crazy if you don't use the nova squad so again farm for these as uh, many as you can with the right stat the best stat for this is going to be attack percentage, which most of our skills scale on, and also alignment index for extra more damage. So other options, if you haven't had both worlds, you know, the best of both worlds, I'm still farming for this, although I already have kinetic damage as the third skill for each of these. But skill ace is not that bad. You can actually use it for faster um, cooldown of your skills. Um, again, it's a choice, but primarily it's going to be attack and alignment index. Third, definitely will be kinetic damage. This one is also the U energy recovery is, um, I think, kind of useful. Um, I haven't tested it without the, this one, the U energy recovery plus 9.9%. Um, for right now, um, my U energy charges well. I don't know if it's because of this stat or or even without this i'm i'm already good so again options aside from attack and align index would be skill haste third lastly would be you energy recovery if you are you know if you if you haven't had the luck in rolling for the perfect stat so that is it guys those are my recommendations for logistics we're off to her um manifestations so uh, simply put, uh, she only needs to be up to M2 if you really want to make sure that she has the, the important manifestations to level up. I don't think you will need to roll for a second copy. You can always farm for it's easy to farm even up to M2. So if you're saving, if you're free to play, if you're saving for the next character that you want to pull, definitely just get one copy and farm the rest it's really really farmable i i i i, I don't kid you but it will take time uh, I, I i don't see um the value of getting copies of her now unless you're a whale so again 
M1 is going to be one of the things that you should, you know, have as well because this one is going to no longer consume your stamina for dodge shot charge. Take note, dodge shot charge is partly dodge. So stamina is in play. So this one no longer consumes stamina and increases final damage of dodge shots by 20%, which is again a big, big up or buff. Next up, again for M2, this is also very important. So Afterlife performs a dodge shot, gains 20 dodge shot charge. Again, really, really, really crazy skill. You must have this at least up to M2. M3, guys, would be... Um, this is more of the ballistic damage side. So with at least one instant insight mark for each additional mark, this effect increases an extra 3%, which is not bad to have considering that part of your skill rotation or skill cycle is you're going to be shooting anyway. So this is a nice plus. So either M2 or M3 at most is important. This one is an additional skill level. So increase uh, damage for instant, uh, insight ray, 4% of life's attack, plus 26. And the last one would be equipped with kinetic weapons. So again, you need... I don't think you have much options for a weapon. At this time, you'll, you'll have to contend with either the 4 star or the 5 star. So equipped with a kinetic weapon, increase kinetic damage by 20%, which adds to additional damage. So again... Uh, must get is up to M2, which is cyclical control. And if you are feeling generous and if you want to further farm, I think you can actually get um, as far as M3. But again, the must get is M1 and M2 uh, at this point, especially free to play. The rest, if you have, you know, if you can pull for her other copies and if you are, you know, if you can farm that much, then go for M3 and up. Okay, so that is her manifestation. Neuronics, guys, I'm just going to be, again, I've discussed this during um, the skills. They're very important. So first of all, uh, priority levels would be for the standard skill, which is located here. Next up is going to be your ultimate, which is located on the bottom. And the last to prioritize is going for um, the support uh, area or support skill, which is in the middle. So those are the sequences in terms of neuronics. I won't discuss further. We already discussed this during the skill discussion earlier. Um, as far as team comps is concerned, um, she doesn't have much to complement on her skill. Just the basic ones. I see. We'll have to see if uh, Fenny, the new one. Um, the new version coming up soon, the free character, is going to complement her. Uh, we'll see how much support she can give. I'm not sure if she is the support of Life um, Infinite Sight, but I'm looking at that that way because, again, what I see as her support is going to be um, primarily be Kaguya because of um, this one. Uh... This is support, yes. Support, so resistance, decrease all type resistance by 24%. So basically, that is what we're looking at now. So the usual support that we have. Next up would be um, Enya Exuvia. Enya, of course, for support is going to be dishing out additional electrical damage um, as your main DPS continues to use their standard skill. So as you use the standard skill, this continues to add um, to electrical damage. So adds damage as well. So again, Enya Exuvia, you have Kaguya. The last probably that I could re recommend at this point, if you are, you know, if you don't, worry, if you don't, if you're really poor at dodging and you get hit uh, as often, then definitely you need a healer. So you will need each shell, which um, I think best healer in the game and if you don't have her secondary that i would recommend would be yao four star Yao four star is this so again um not much that caters to her skill or to her build at this point but again we do have a lot of operatives ready to support her um not really specific to her kit the skill rotation is basically going to be skill damage then you have your dodge shot, ballistic damage, and dodge shot again. So we'll have to demo it here. 
So let's do let's do um this. Then you have your dodge shot. As you can see, big damage. You can actually do your uh, what do you call this? Do your um your standard skill if it's ready. So if your charge is ready, you can actually do that. Then you have your dodge. Then you have you can actually shoot when your when your standard skill is is uh, what we we'll call this not enough. So so again, let's do that again. I'm 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 quite I'm I'm quite a, I'm quite silly at this point. So you have your standard skill, you have your dodge shot, then you shoot, then you dodge shot again. So let's skip. Let's do that again. I'm a bit clumsy there. So you have your standard skill. You have your dodge shot, you shoot, so that you can generate your that eye in the middle. Then you do your shot again. So again, I'm, I'm just being clumsy here because I'm actually about to go out with family. So sorry for, for being, uh, what do you call this? So as you do your cycle, you also get to charge up your ultimate which deals a lot of damage here so but you i think you have to get closer for you to deal that amount of damage and again it's it's a very long it has a very long duration for the ultimate skill so let's do standard dodge shot shoot wait for the eye to charge then dodge shot again then go for your standard skill dodge shot shoot now the ultimate is ready charged then you can go with your ultimate so again it is going to be as simple as that but again you have to move forward to get a better shot for your ultimate otherwise you won't be able to reach again you're, you're basically using twin pistols at this point so it's going to be what do you call this it's going to be you know a mid to short range of a damage at this point so shooting charging uh standard skill there you go it, it it takes a while to be able to use it to be proficient in it if you're using her much um she will basically you know you skills were will be natural to you eventually in the future but you'll have to make sure that you practice as much as possible so again i have to tell you i'm not really an expert yet on her skill rotations but you have to practice more on how you're going to be playing her also make sure that your your um standard skill that there, there's a directional portion to it so make sure that you land in the right direction and also the dodge dodge shot if you don't control the dodge shot you're going to land you're going to land at the you know uh front so as you can see um let's do a dodge shot here without directions so you're gonna move forward so i think that is the thing here i think they will be able to you know have a um, adjustment of that on the f in in the future but for now it's going to be you're going to have to be content with uh, yeah, going to have to be content with uh, what do you call this with the mechanics um, oh my god I don't have any more HP here I'm actually not 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 in the frame of mind <laughs> to be able to finish this. So, but I'm getting the job done. <laughs> so we are at the boss right now. So we'll just finish up the boss for the demo, then we're good. Then I will discuss my overall thoughts for her. Um, she has difficulty really in you know it's kind of difficult to use her in the start. But if you get used to her, then she will be okay eventually. So... There you go. 
as you can see there her meter is actually so if it's a multiple you know multiple part um part the uh, enemy you have to target the parts that you need to target because again her attacks are going to be all over the place but if it's a one part you know one part enemy i don't think you'll have difficulty in dealing with those enemies this is i think the first time that i've used her with this type of enemy which has multiple parts to destroy but again um dodge shot is not gonna be you know it's not gonna land on a on one single part it's gonna land it's gonna land in multiple parts so again i died there but no biggie i can resurrect so there you go my final thoughts so crazy damage at this point um I made that run without any buffs, so kind of challenging as well. But if I did it with buffs, definitely that would be a easier situation to handle. But again, guys, um, she is kind of, you know, crazy damage, broken, could be more broken with more, you know, more operatives that would uh, really complement her or buff her damage as well. Again, if they would just nerf, N not nerf let like change her dodge shot in terms of uh, not if you don't have a directional dodge then she stays probably the back or the side not on front why would you dodge in front basically so that is actually hard to do and also for her standard skill you can do a directional for that as well so it takes a while to get used to her skill but again she's so fun to play that i don't really mind um just takes getting used to um, the damage trade-off and the burst damage is really, really crazy. So, again, guys, comment down in the comment section. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow for my live stream, 7 p.m. Uh, I think it's 8 UTC. It's in. I posted it in the community bulletin or billboard. So, check that out. I'll be giving away codes tomorrow, 30 codes to be exact. Um, I'm not gonna, you know, spoil what are the mechanics for that. But again, I'll see you on stream. Thank you guys for staying this far. Take care. Stay safe. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.